Okay guys, next I'm gonna show you how to make certain shapes. We talked a lot about this in class and everybody seemed to understand it really well. But I just kinda wanted to go over it a little bit more specifically. Um, if you want to make a shape, say a square, you kinda have to plan out where you're going to be building and how many warp strings you're gonna be taking. You have about 20 warp strings on your whole thing and so if you take up 10 warp strings, that shape will be about a, um, a half of your entire weaving. So you gotta kinda think of it in terms of that. So I'm gonna make a square, um, cause that's super, super simple. And actually I'm gonna make, um, yeah, I'm gonna make a square. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do five warp strings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna over, under, over, under, over. And I'm just using the traditional plain weave here. And I'm just gonna stay in these five warp strings that I have. And I'm gonna just continually go back and forth until I'm happy with the way that my square looks. So I will fast forward you guys through this.
So I'm done building my square. I'm happy with the way it looks. So I'm going to cut the extra string off. And if you notice, I also finished the row and went around. But I'm going to tuck the back of the string in the back here. Okay. And again, we'll take care of those knots later as they come. And we'll be weaving on top of it. So that is how you make a square. I just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it's the same width as it is. This can also work for rectangles. I could go all the way up on these five strings and that would create a right bar on my piece. So when you look at my piece, you would see that this, if I wanted, this would take up this entire side and create sort of like a border on my weaving. So that's always an option as well for you guys is to create different types of borders. But it was really simple. I just had to keep track of my stitches. Just kind of keep moving it down and now I have a separate shape.